Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Ubuntu Live USB using a Mac. Now, this is not going to be like a Windows version of this guide. You are going to have to use the terminal in order to create this. You could only have an app that could create it for you. Now, um, to get started, all you're going to need to do is download the official Ubuntu ISO from their downloads page and just place it on your desktop. I placed it right here and I renamed it Ubuntu.ISO. Now, after you have that, you're going to want to plug in a USB drive. And the first thing we're going to need to do is change that ISO to an image file. And we can go ahead and do that using Terminal. All the commands that I have listed right here are the ones we're going to be using. Um, it's just easy just to copy and paste them right over instead of inputting them manually. So go ahead and copy this over from the um, official guide link in the description below. So this first command is going to convert um, the image to an ISO. And it takes a couple uh, seconds for that to finish. And once it's finished, it will also place it on your desktop as well and name it ubuntu.image. Now that it's completed, you will have the image file placed directly on your desktop. Mine is right here. And you can see that it added a .dmg uh, extension to it. So just go ahead and delete that. And then hit enter and click on use.image. After that, you're pretty much all set to start the flashing process. We're going to need to first find out the node that the USB drive is attached to. So to do that, just copy over the second command. And I already know that this one is my USB drive because you have a 16 gigabyte. And then this is the hard drive of my Mac. Now, if you don't know which node your USB drive is attached to, all you have to do is unplug it, then run the same command to list all of your different drives and then plug it back in and then run that same command again and then compare those two outputs to see uh, which uh, node your USB drive is attached to. Now after you know the node, you're going to want to change the commands that are listed in the guide. Just change that number sign to the node number and you'll pretty much be all set. So this next command is going to unmount the USB drive so that it could be formatted and then have the Ubuntu files flash onto it. So just go ahead and unmount it. And the next command is going to be the actual install command. Just go ahead and copy and paste that over. After the if uh, part of the command, you're going to want to enter the location of your boot new image. So if you don't have it on the desktop, be sure to change it to the correct location. And then you're also going to have to change the uh, node number as well after this disk portion of the command. After you have that uh, command all set up, just go ahead and hit enter. Enter your password and then wait for the files to finish flashing. All right, it took my computer about a minute to create the file, and now I have this error saying that it, my disk is unreadable. That is totally okay, just click on ignore. And uh, if you don't get that error, don't worry about it, you're still okay. Now all we have to do is eject the disk. So that'll be this last command right here. It should already be ejected, but just in case, just run this command. And now you can go ahead and boot this USB drive. Now, to do that, all you have to do is you could either restart your computer from the uh, Apple menu bar, or you could just uh, power it off normally, and then when you turn it back on, make sure to hold the Option key. All right, so now that your computer is off, you go ahead and press the Power button, and then immediately hold down the Option key. And after your computer starts, you'll see your startup disk options. Uh, you go ahead and let go of the Option command, and just use your arrow key to highlight EFI boot. Go ahead and hit enter, and then from your options that you get, you're going to click on the first one that says try Ubuntu without installing. Hit enter, and then Ubuntu should start up automatically. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Be sure to check out the full guide linked in the description below, and like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one.